hey my natural beauties welcome back to my channel i know a lot of you ladies will be doing a lot of fun activities this summer such as going to the beach and having a lot of outdoor days so i wanted to do this waterproof summer inspired makeup look it's a very simple look that is very beginner friendly using very affordable products i tried this look for my birthday when i went to the beach and it worked amazing for me so i thought i would share the details if you guys want to see and hear all the products that i use then just keep on watching So I know somebody is about to ask me about this hair. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. The information will be in the description bar below. If you guys want me to make a video on how I styled it, I will make one for you. Just let me know in the comments. But for now, check the description bar for the info on this hair. For your brows, you're going to want to go in with something waxy. That is a brow pencil. This one is basically done. This is my Jordana Fabio brow pencil. I do use this quite a lot, especially in very hot heat. Because of its waxy consistency, it stays on all day. I'm using concealer to clean up my brows. I'm gonna share what concealer I'm using in a bit, but you do want to take some of that concealer onto your lids as this is going to help your eyeshadow look to stay on all day. I've done a bit of a eye look, nothing serious, that part is totally up to you, but what's important is your eyeliner. I'm using this Blackout Color Extend Eyeliner from Jordana, it's all day wear and it's totally waterproof. This is definitely a very durable product. On a sunny hot day, mascara is definitely optional, but I love using mascara. I'm using the Runway Lashes Instant Volume Mascara from Milani, and this one is definitely a keeper. Pretty much every mascara stays on for me, but you can definitely search for one that says waterproof. Now it is going to be a matte lip kind of day. You want to, of course, moisturize your lips before you put any lip product on. I'm using my Blistex Lip Medics to do this and I'm rubbing it into my lips. You can check this link on your screen for all my lipstick hacks that will make your lipsticks perfect. Of course, priming is like the most important step in this whole routine. I'm using the Milani Prime Shield. It's a mattifying, pore minimizing primer. Get you a really good primer, guys. This is going to be the most important step because you need to prepare your face for all the products that you're going to use. So I'm just rubbing this into my skin and what it's going to do is provide a very smooth base for my foundation application and it's going to allow everything to look nice and natural and be very, very lightweight. In addition to a very good primer, you also need a very good foundation for a durable foundation look. I'm using this one by Milani. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. My shade is Golden Toffee and I go through this quite quickly. Because it's a dual formula, it's very durable so it tends to last long on your skin. Even if you do wipe your sweat or pat your sweat, I should say, it doesn't remove the product and I really think that is probably the best quality. It's very, very durable. To highlight, I'm using two concealers. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal as well as the Milani Secret Cover Concealer. I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal first because this is more of a liquid formula. When you do need something durable, I think doubling up is the best way to get the most long lasting of a thing. So I'm pressing in the LA Girl Pro under my eyes and after I apply that, I'm gonna go in with the Secret Cover Concealer. Now that concealer is more of a creamy formula, so using two concealers instead of one is definitely going to give you a more durable wear to your makeup.
Of course, you do need to set all that concealer work. I'm using the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. This shade is called Medium. This right here is the best drugstore powder you guys will ever find for darker skin tones and definitely for oily skin. Using a sponge pad, I'm going to press this into my skin and you want to use a sponge pad with this for this routine specifically because it's going to literally push the product into your skin and allow it to stay there. And I'm going to brush away my excess with a stippling brush, specifically a stippling brush because it's just going to take away enough product that will prevent the cakey look. And I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with my regular pressed powder. I really stick to the Milani uh, pressed powders because they work amazing for me. I've been using them for years and they do last very long. So if you guys want to try those out, you can go ahead. My shade is Ginger. Instead of doing a cream contour, go ahead and do a powder contour. One, is going to be much more lightweight and two, it eliminates a layer off your face. So in other words, when you'd have a cream that will help you to sweat easier, a powder literally is just going to sit there. What I'm doing is just pressing my contour in with a beauty blender and this step is super important. I'm taking a flat top brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of stipple in the product. Everything that I placed in, I'm just going to press that onto my skin and this is going to act as a reinforcement to help it to stay on longer and look well blended now for our lips i'm removing the bliss text so i can apply my matte lipstick i told you guys we're gonna go in with a matte this is makeup monsters liquid lipstick in the shade uh wolfsbane and this is just a nice cool tone shade now these lipsticks from makeup monsters are the best lipsticks i've ever used click the link on your screen right now to check out the review for those i'm just applying a liner to make it a whole lot neater of course lipstick hack if you guys are not much of a matte lip person you can go ahead and try a gloss this is from a SNS Cosmetics and this gloss is called Cassie. Super affordable glosses that are like perfect quality. I love the formula. It's so awesome and I think this is my new favorite because it looks so good on top of literally every lip product that I have. So I'm applying this one. The link will be in the description bar below. Finally, a uh, summer look is never complete without a glow. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, I am going to be mixing all these highlight shades to apply the perfect glow for my summer makeup look. I mix them all and I'm using a blending brush to apply it. This is going to give you way more product payoff than you would get with a fan brush. So that's why I'm using a blending brush today. And I'm also applying some into my tear duct for a nice highlighted look. So here is the finished look guys, definitely sweat proof, waterproof, I mean you will sweat but it won't sweat off and it won't wash off in one go, it will be very durable and you will still be sitting pretty. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment down below. Love you guys so much, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time, stay naturally beautiful, bye!